Well, hello everyone and welcome to Decorating with Barbara. Today, I'm taking you guys with me to a local garden nursery. Now, I like to stop by here and check out their fresh greenery for the season. And I like to add the greens to my Thanksgiving arrangements as well as my front porch pots. So we're gonna take a quick tour through this area and just see what they have for the outdoor arrangements and then we're going to go inside and take a look at their beautiful Christmas trees. Now these are just some examples of the outdoor arrangements that you can make with the fresh greenery and they have so many different uh, variations that you can make. As a matter of fact, there's a class going on in the back and we may visit that area just to see what type of um, pots they're making back there. But these are some that they're showing up front that you can pick the greens um, from out here and put a pot together yourself. You don't have to attend the class to put something together. And so these are the uh, fresh wreaths and garlands that they have. And the garlands are just so beautiful. That's a 15 foot cedar and it is absolutely gorgeous. But $39, $40. And so I think that is a great price. Now these are the pine cones and if you guys are looking for the large pine cones and the birchwood logs, check your local nursery because I'm pretty sure during this time of year they probably do have these things out. Now these are the different bundles of greenery that you can purchase for your pots. And the bundles are usually somewhere around um, nine, eight or nine dollars. Um, and you can pretty much use a couple bundles for one pot. It just depends on the variations that you like to use in the pot. And if you like a low um, standing pot or if you like something tall, it just depends on the amount that you want to put in your pot. Like something like this is a tall centerpiece. And um, that's one that you add in the center of the pot for the height. You don't have to use height for every pot, but it does make a nice statement. And they even have the magnolia leaves as well. And those are always pretty to add in, in the pots. And so now we're going into the store to look at these beautiful Christmas trees. And they do have some beautiful trees. Now, let me just say, if you guys are um, decorating a fall type um, color palette for your Christmas trees, use a little bit of glitter or some type of a shine for your trees so that they don't come off looking like fall. Because it is Christmas and we do love a little sparkle for Christmas. Now those white trees hanging from the ceiling, those are stick trees and they're just, they have them hanging upside down. I thought that was a really cute idea. Now see this tree has pretty sparkle, um, but it does have the fall colors. Now, if you guys are looking for a Christmas scent, Fraser Fur is a good one.
Now, I'm not sure what this is, but it looked interesting, and maybe you guys know what it is. And you guys remember we talked about the tinsel trees. And so these trees that they're using with the tinsel, they're very pretty. But from my experience, tinsel is very hard to get off your tree. And so I will share in um, another video how to place tinsel on your tree where it's not so hard to get off at the end of the season. Now this area here has the faux greenery and I'm telling you, I was pretty fooled at thinking this was the real stuff. Now tell me this does not look like real cedar. So you know I picked up a couple. And of course, they will cost a little bit more to get the faux, obviously, because they're going to last a lot longer than the fresh. And then this is a pot that they made up that is of the faux greenery, which looks so much like the fresh pots outside. But they cost a little bit more, um, probably close to 200, whereas the... Um, real greenery those pots can be a little less because obviously they don't last as long now obviously it's a good idea to bring your dog and take some pictures i thought that was cute now we're going to head out into the um, greenhouse and this is where the ladies are having their workshop. And we're just gonna take a look at some poinsettias, the beautiful colors, and take a look at some of the um, arrangements that they put together as inspiration for the ladies to put together for their winter pots. So guys, I wanna thank you for watching and please come back on Wednesday for another video I have a surprise and um, yeah, you guys are going to like it. So I hope to see you then. Keep watching and have a wonderful Sunday. Bye-bye.